Hello guys, it is the Chili Donut here, and um, today I'm gonna be doing a uh, challenge. Actually, um, I'm gonna find the worst car in Forza Horizon that I can find. Um, I've already done that, so I have it here in my garage, right here. This 1967 Volkswagen Beetle. It's an E-Class 137. Yeah, so the challenge is I'm going to take this Volkswagen and I'm going to upgrade it, um, like fully upgrade it, um, yeah, and try and actually, um, compete in a race with it, so, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing right here, and as you can see how bad it is, I'll just go around the circle. So, yeah, here's the auto show. It, it probably literally can't get to like 70 miles per hour. Car club, marketplace. It surprisingly got to 60. I'm actually surprised about that. There we go. So, yeah, I'm do custom upgrade. So I'm basically just going to upgrade it like with all the best stuff and try and compete in a race with it. So, let's go. Aerial and appearance, front bumper, just better. Um, this one, there, then the wing, we want this one. So that's done. First, we're gonna go to here, conversion, and swap. Alright, so we're gonna swap the engine. Yeah. Oh, pff, accidentally went out. Oops. That was stupid. Okay, custom upgrade. Um, conversion. All I can do is engine swap. I wish there was a twin turbo. Alright, there we go. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to change the rims. I really like these rims because they're light and very cool looking. Oh, I didn't buy them. That's weird. Okay. Then I'm going to upgrade the rim size. And then the air filter, race intake. There we go. Um, this thing has gone from an E class to an A class so far, and we're not even done. Oh, because it comes with a uh, turbo in it because of the engine swap. That's pretty handy. Though I wish it had like a uh, supercharger or um, twin turbo, but I mean, that's good enough. I'm surprised I've actually gotten it up to an S class. And I do not want to put, like, a bad name on Volkswagen. I think their cars are pretty neat. Um, th this is just in Forza. Just, I'm, I'm really not trying to say anything bad about, um, Volkswagen here. Alright. It's already up to R3. Dang. Alright. Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, then we just have to swap. Yeah, R3. I mean, even with the engine swap, I still think that's pretty surprising. <laughs> okay. Let's leave the garage. And... I don't know if I want to compete in, like, um, one of the street races. Or... Something else, I don't know. Um, I think I'll just find, like, one of the newer racers, 
Whoa. <laughs> Look at this. And it shoots fire out the back. I'm surprised this one would do that. I'll just like go up to this Alford at Alford. So he's in the a uh, oh cool Corvette scenery. Did it say sixty-seven? I I can. All right. Jeez. He had such a little car with like such a powerful engine. <laughs> so like. So like imagine putting um. Like some, not like. Uh, like, imagine putting in some, like, older Lamborghini, uh, thing. This is going nuts. But, like, some older Lamborghini engine. And, like, some... Oh, there's a Ford GT. I love those. Like, in some, um... Some, like, little old car. And then, like, older than the Lamborghini engine you swapped it with. And, like, it really just, like, thrashes it around. Kind of, like... If you have a, a little siblings, you'll understand me. Like that's kind of like thrashing them around. I guess if that makes sense. <laughs> All right. I I bet I can beat this guy somehow. I mean, sure he does have a cruddy car, but I'll go up against um, someone else after this. Yeah. The, look at this. It's this thrashing around. Looks like it's in surprisingly good shape. Alright. Oh, I like being in this view. I don't know why this too. Kinda the uh stereotypical thing. But yeah. Alright, just point two miles to go. Where is he? Oh, I can't see him. Oh, we can see him on the mini map though. He is right there. Have a good day. Yay! I surprisingly beat him, though he did have a uh, uh, C-class car, and this is R3, so I'm going to go find someone that has a uh, better car, um, who's this right here, oh, he has a Jaguar, I mean, I might, uh, I'll try to go up to this guy or girl, yeah, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this car is just crazy. I used to have a Jaguar on here, but I didn't really like it. Once again, I'm not trying to put a bad name on it. I, I mean, just I guess it just wasn't my car on here. Oh, look at this sucker. It is crazy. Like, it's kind of like the, um, imagine like you're, um, uh, like, Five foot nine, and playing in the NBA, and you're like a rookie who just joined the team. Th this is like this guy, but like you think, but like you just look at him and you're like, oh, he's gonna do crud, and then, and then um, he starts playing, and then you're just like, whoa. Th this is what I'm thinking about this little car right here. I mean, it's crazy. It's like. Yeah, it's just insane. 0. 0.6 miles to go. Where's the other guy? Oh, he's back there. I'm gonna do that because I was not looking. Just looking at my mini map. Stupid mini map. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Going this way. I don't think I've ever been around here. And as you can tell, I don't exactly. Or, you probably can't really tell, but I'm. I don't exactly compete in the festival races. I kind of just collect cars and stuff, but right now I have my orange wristband and my, you yeah. know, I've got a few cars. I, I, I like to collect cars because, like, it really, it's, it's kind of fun, like, having, because of how realistic the game is, it really feels like when you're playing, you have that car. And, yeah, like, if you want a Bugatti, even though they're, like, I'm pretty sure they're street illegal, then it's like, 
you can feel like you actually have one. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little challenge I made up. <laughs> Worst car in the game turned into an R3 class and be a Jaguar somehow. But, <laughs> yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed and, um...